India's clash with New Zealand in the third test was an absolute roller coaster. On a pitch where the ball seemed to have a mind of its own, India's bowlers, Ravindra Jadeja and R. Ashwin, stepped up big time, leaving New Zealand teetering at 143 for nine in their second innings. With a mix of young talent and seasoned spin, India has secured a powerful advantage. Stick around to see how India's heroes rose to the occasion. And if you're not already, make sure to subscribe for more epic cricket breakdowns. It all began with India under pressure, losing Rohit Sharma and Virat Kohli early. Enter Shubman Gill and Rishabh Pant. With India in a critical situation, these two young guns combined to bring India's innings back to life. Gill scored a steady 90, while Pant brought his usual explosive style, racking up 60 runs. Together, they piled up 96 runs at over 5 runs per over, attacking New Zealand's star spinner Ajaz Patel from the start. Pant didn't waste any time, smashing Ajaz for boundaries and setting the tone. Gill, not wanting to be left behind, followed suit with some stunning shots, including a memorable six that almost sailed out of the ground. If you're enjoying this recap so far, don't forget to hit the like button. It really helps us bring you more of these detailed match stories. Just when it looked like New Zealand might restrict India to a slim lead, Washington Sundar stepped up with an impactful cameo of 38 of 36 balls. In partnership with R. Ashwin, he pushed India's score beyond New Zealand's reach. Sundar's innings may have been brief, but it was explosive. He made every ball count, inching India's lead bit by bit. Every run seemed critical in a match this close. By the time Sundar walked back, India's lead was a precious 28 runs. Who knew that this small margin would feel like a mountain on a deteriorating pitch? And now, the moment every Indian cricket fan was waiting for, the spin wizards, Ashwin and Jadeja, unleashed their magic. Jadeja took four wickets, while Ashwin picked up three, ripping through New Zealand's lineup. Ashwin showed all his mastery, even bringing out his signature carom ball, which baffled New Zealand's top order. Jadeja, meanwhile, bowled with precision, landing the ball on spots that made the batsmen dance. And let's not forget the teamwork. When Glenn Phillips looked dangerous with three sixes, Ashwin pulled out his carom ball and silenced him. It was all about skill, strategy and a shared goal. New Zealand's collapse was on its way. If you're pumped watching Jadeja and Ashwin's magic, why not subscribe? There's more where that came from. Will Young showed some real resistance, scoring his second 50 of the match and pushing back with everything he had. Young, alongside a feisty Glenn Phillips, tried to give New Zealand a fighting chance. But on a crumbling pitch, India's spin was simply relentless. Young fell to a superb catch by Ashwin himself, and then Phillips couldn't withstand Jadeja's turning deliveries. Every attempt to push the score higher seemed to meet India's fierce bowling. By the end of day three, India had left New Zealand at 143 for nine, with only one wicket remaining. It was a dominant performance on a tricky wicket, one that has only given up 29 wickets in two days. With just one New Zealand wicket to go, India stands on the edge of a remarkable win and a historic series whitewash. Jadeja, Ashwin, Sundar, Pant and Gill, each of them has left a mark. New Zealand is now facing the almost impossible task of defending a slim lead. It's all set up for a thrilling final day. Will India finish this off? Who will be the standout player tomorrow? Let us know in the comments. The third test has been a true showcase of resilience, skill and team effort from both India's young stars and its veteran spinners. As India stands on the brink of a historic series win, fans can't wait to see how it all wraps up. Don't miss the final highlights and make sure you subscribe for all the latest in cricket action. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.